Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 26. That is, what is interface testing? Let me answer. Interface testing in simple words is nothing but testing the interface or connection via which the components of the application are communicating. At a high level, guys, let me explain. Let's say this is one component of the application. Let's say this is another component of the application. Now, these two components, these two different components are communicating via this connection. Okay. These two components are communicating. They are transferring the data or whatever maybe are communicating via this connection or interface. You can say this, this particular line, you can say it as an interface or a connection. So here we have to test this particular connection. Okay. We have to see whether this connection is working fine or not, communicating well or not, transferring the proper data between these two components of the application or not, we have to check. That's what is called as interface testing, okay? What is interface testing? Testing the interface or connection via which the components of the application are communicating. That is called as interface testing. Let me give some examples, here, okay? Let me give some examples here for you to understand how interface testing is performed. So under interface testing, API testing and web services testing also will fall in. Why? Why API testing and web service testing fall under the interface testing? Let me answer. You see, I'll take an example here for API testing. For example, there is a software application, desktop application software, or okay, this, let's say this is a desktop application software. You see, this entire software can be divided into different functionalities, right? Lot of lot of modules will be there actually. Okay, in this particular entire application code. This is a single, the outer box is nothing but the single software that can be broken down into multiple blocks like this, okay? Modules or blocks like this. So what happens internally in this software is, okay, this particular software is actually in your machine. So what happens when you run the software is, these components, these modules of this particular application communicate with each other, right? Like this, they communicate, okay? This, uh, this module will communicate with this module, this module, this module may be communicating with this module, like that different modules of this particular application will be internally communicating to give you the result, okay? When you run the software and you perform some operations to give you some result, these components will internally communicate with each other and they will give you the result. They will give you the result accordingly, right? So here, if you are testing this, okay? So as part of, in these are nothing but APIs, guys. Okay, these are different modules of this application communicate via APIs. These are API calls. Okay, whatever I drawn here are nothing but the API calls within the within the application software. All these modules are there. They are communicating via this API calls. Okay, so if you are testing this red color lines, okay, this communication things or connection things over which these different modules of the application are communicating. If you are testing, that is called as interface testing. Okay. So that is called as basically API testing. API testing falls into the interfacing because here you are actually testing the connection or communication line or channel, okay? Over which these modules of the single application are communicating with each other to give you the desired result when you run the software. Similarly, what happens with uh, web services is, web services means, web services, what is the difference between the API, APIs and web services? Web services are also APIs only, okay? Web services, are also APIs, but not, but not all APIs are web services. Why? If you see this diagram, guys, in this this is desktop application software that you have installed using the EXE file in your machine. Okay, the complete software code got installed in your machine, and the software is running in your machine. So here, when you run the software, this com this modules of this particular desktop application software are communicating with each other over the API calls. So if these communication lines are not transferred or not traveling. This communication is not uh, happening over HTTPS or HTTP protocol. Okay, it's not happening on the internet. It's internally happening. Code, this code is calling this code internally. Okay, there is no internet there. Okay, so such kind of things are also APIs. But in some cases, what happens is, for example, if I open this application, okay, tutorials in Java web application, this is a web application, right? And uh, if if I search for something like this HP or something and click on the search button, the moment I click on the search button, what happens? A request will be sent to the server. Okay. The server is not in my machine. The server is somewhere on the remote. Okay. Somewhere on the Singapore or somewhere. The server of this particular application is there. 
the moment i typed hp here and click on the search button a request has been sent to the server and server has processed the request by running the code that it has of the application and it has sent the response back because of the response i am able to see this particular product this uh, this particular hp lp3065 product in the search results okay because i got a response from the server i am able to see this product in the search results so here that request and re responses okay are happening over where internet okay so let me draw something here let's say this is your laptop guys let's say this is your laptop and uh, let's say this is a server server actually where the application code is residing okay server of uh, this particular e-commerce application where the code for running code uh, code written for uh, creating that application is available in the server guys okay this is a server server machine this is a server machine and here is a laptop laptop can be called as a client or something here this is your laptop in your laptop you opened a browser you can call the browser also as a client now in the browser you access it tutorialsinja.com slash demo application and because of uh, when you when you hit hp or something right a request has been sent to this server but where is the server server is somewhere in singapore but how can this uh, communication happen via internet right so in in the previous case the entire software is installed in my machine guys okay the software has been installed in my machine so communications will not have to happen over the internet there because complete modules of the application are in my machine only why why they have to travel to other machine and all okay so here over the network a request has been sent to the server via internet okay that is http protocol and server will run the code when it gets the request and uh, it will process the request and then the response back okay here we have the response here we have the request here is a request here is a response once the response is come to the browser of this particular my laptop i can see the the searched product in my search results okay this is what is happening and this communication is happening over the internet so if the communication of this is happening over internet we call that apis as web services okay here here these are also apis guys okay even though the communication is happening over the internet these are also apis but which type of apis web services apis okay over the internet if the apis are transferring the data between two machines and all okay then we call them as web web that's why web guys okay over the web they are happening the apis are traveling over apis are communicating over the web that is internet okay we call them as web services so such kind of testing we call them as web services testing here also guys we are testing the communication channels interface between this uh, laptop and the okay the transport interface between the laptop and the server machine we are testing okay so that's why this web services testing or api call, api testing can be called will fall under the interface testing so not only this kind of api calls between the modules of the application or uh, uh, client and server machines but also other type of interfaces also exist right you see a system consists of a lot of stuff for example this is the client machine this is the server and there will be some database here there will be other servers also if the application is very complex we'll have other servers also whatever it is let's say this is a database so here whenever required what happens is whenever the server gets a request and uh, if the server has to check something in the database the server will try to connect here and the database will give you the response okay will give the result okay so using sql or something will connect to the database and uh, the server will trigger a query sql query which will uh, trigger on the database SQL query or something and database will give you the results so here also the communication is happening right uh, here the laptop the server the databases everything is a component guys, okay? everything is known as a what component guys, okay so databases networks servers etc all the interface or communication channel or connection between this database network servers client machine server machine okay and within the software different modules of the software everything is called as an interface or connection testing such kind of interface or connection is known as interface testing it is a very wide term guys okay we, uh, it is a very wide time wide uh, term okay it's a very at a high level we have to use what is interface testing guys, okay if you dig deep into interface testing different type of testings will again come like api testing web service testing and other things like uh, communication between the uh, communication channels between different database and all different terms will come okay this is a very high level word you can say so hope guys you understood what exactly is interface testing okay testing the interface or connection channel over which the components of the application or components related to the application are communicating is known as interface testing in simple words
So that's all for this uh, session, guys. Uh, in the next session, I'm going to answer the next software testing interview question. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.